we are going to discuss about the second way of heat transferring, which is convection. Unlike conduction, convection is a way of transferring heat from one part of a fluid to another part by movement of the fluid itself. What it means is when we boil water, the water below will be heated first. And then once it's heated, it will go up and the, the bottom hot water will go up to the top and the surface cold water will drop down to the bottom so that it becomes a cycle. The cold water comes down, being heat goes up again and the hot water goes up, being cooled, come down again. So that eventually the whole body, the whole water body will reach one certain temperature and then being heated. So since a convection require heat changing from one part of a fluid of a liquid to another part. So convection can only occur in liquid or gas because solid cannot exchange within the matter itself, cannot exchange position. And the movement of gas or liquid, we call that the circle, we call that convection current. So let's look at some examples. Okay, if you use a electric kettle for heating water, a kettle, and then normally the heater will be here or underneath. So it will heat up the water underneath and hot water go up, cold water comes down. It forms a convection, convection current and eventually the whole water body will be heat, will be heated. Okay, the next example will be fridge or aircon. So we take aircon, for example, inside the room. Normally aircon will be put on top. So when they cool down the air over here, it's cold air, cold air will come down and then hot air will go up and then being cooled again. So it forms a convection current. For fridge, it's the same thing. No matter it's one door or two door, the compressor will be placed on top. So the air on top will be cooled first and the hot air below will come up. So that forms a convection current. And then eventually the whole fridge is cooled. And next one, sea breeze. So we know that land is a good conductor and then sea water is a poor conductor, I always say insulator. So during night, the land cools down and the sea is still warm. So the air above sea is hot air and over here is cold air. So when hot air goes up, the cold air will replace and then after cooling down the hot air the cold air will come down again so it forms a convection current <laughs>